It's red. Ginger Runner. What is up, everybody? Ethan Newberry, the Ginger Runner here for another Ginger Runner review. I apologize. I know it's been a while. Uh, we had a little thing called Tiger Claw, our very first trail race take place. I don't know if you saw the teaser trailer that dropped last week, but you may want to check that out. I was quite surprised at how much of my actual time it took up to produce that race. So I apologize for leaving the YouTube channel in a bit of a lurch for about 10 days. We're back. I'm excited. I hope you missed me because I missed you. Let's just get right back into this. We're going to do a review today of a shoe that's had a lot of people talking and it comes highly recommended so I knew that I had to review it and it comes to us from Solomon. It's the S-Lab Ultra 2. Mmm, beefy. The S-Lab Ultra 2 is the updated version of the S-Lab Ultra obviously. For those of you familiar with that shoe, they redesigned the upper of the new version and apparently made it a bit better fit, uh, more comfortable on your foot. I did not review the first version of the S-Lab Ultra. However, I have been wearing the similarly teched but more pedestrianly priced Solomon Ultra Pro, which has actually caused some major foot issues for me. It's not a super great shoe, but from what I've been told, it's very similar to the S-Lab Ultra first version. That being said, let's look closely at the S-Lab Ultra 2. I have lots of friends that run in Solomon, run for Solomon, and many of them have said that this is a beefier, more ultra-designed version of the Sense Ride, which has been one of my favorite shoes from Solomon in the last couple of years, so I knew I had to try the new S-Lab Ultra 2. Does the shoe live up to the hype? We're gonna find out in today's review. I like to talk about all the things that I like and dislike about the shoes and products that I review, starting as always with the things that I like. Upper. One of the first changes you'll notice in the S-Lab Ultra 2 is the fact that they did away with those lace mounting fragments of overlay material, pretty much exactly what the Ultra Pro has. These triangle wedges just ended up digging into my foot, causing blister issues, lots of pain across the forefoot. If the first version of the S-Lab Ultra was anything like the Ultra Pro, I can tell you right now I would not have liked it. The fact that they did away with those triangle pieces here on the new version is a great thing. That in combination with a thinner mesh material and a more durable overlay certainly makes this shoe a lot more rugged, a lot more protective, and it keeps the shoe working in all sorts of conditions. I've been managing to run in snow, rain, mud, pretty much everything here the Northwest has thrown at me. The shoe's actually held up quite well. Very little wear going on. The other thing I like about the upper is that it's not all padding. So many shoes this day and age just come out with tons of padding around the ankle collar. By keeping it simple here, Solomon does a lot in ways of keeping the shoe super light, keeping it flexible, more minimal, but yet tied down to the foot quite nicely. New upper, well-designed, I like. Protection, this is something that Solomon shoes just tend to always have in spades. You have a fully protective outsole layer of contra-grip rubber, a denser, more resilient midsole material, and the upper with this overlay, which is a bit thicker, but a lot more durable, and provides you with plenty of protection across the foot. I love it because on rockier or more technical terrain, this is meant to go long distances in the mountains, you're just not gonna feel a lot of those rocks because of that added protection. I think the shoe does a great job of protecting you from the sharper elements that you might be running over. And finally, uh, rigidity. I'm not always a fan of shoes that don't have a lot of flexibility or don't lend themselves to your foot sort of adapting to the terrain. There's a lot of shoes that by being stiffer make your feet work over time. All the muscles, they get fatigued over long distances and it just makes for a really uncomfortable experience. I do have to say that the S-Lab Ultra 2, by being a bit stiffer and yet forgiving in a lot of aspects, I find it has a great balance of flex and stiffness, which really shines when running over uneven surfaces. So I did a lot of rocky terrain in the last couple of months with the shoe. And rather than bending and flexing with each element, it just gives you that right amount of protection, keeps your foot level. You'll be dicing up the technical terrain easily and comfortably. That being said, it's not all Euro boys and Swiss cheese. There are a couple of things that I dislike about the S-Lab Ultra 2. Let's get to those. Comfort. Uh, let's be honest here. This Solomon midsole is a lot like a lot of Solomon midsoles in that it is a far more responsive ride than it is soft and cushioned ride. Just because it has the word ultra in the name of the shoe doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna work for everyone's foot over ultra distances. I for one don't know if I'll be able to run much longer than 20 to 30 miles in the shoe. It's a great 50K shoe in my opinion, but anything longer than that, I know that my feet, my body size and shape are gonna feel a bit more fatigued in this shoe will certainly take a lot more adaption and muscle strength training to get this shoe to work for me over long, long distances. Heat. These get hot, then your feet sweat, then these shoes don't let the sweat evaporate, and then the dirt gets under the sweat and soaks into the shoe, and it's a whole mess. This thicker overlay material that is across the entire lower portion of the upper really lends itself to heating this shoe up drastically. Best comparison is to imagine a summer day, you're in your car, you turn the seat heater on, and it gradually heats you up. Before you know it, you don't know what the hell's going on on your ass. That gradual ass heat that drives you crazy is 
kind of what these shoes feel like, but on your feet, not your ass. They just get hot and they get stuffly. Stuffly? But that, my friends, is actually it for dislikes. I think it is a pretty damn good platform to go longer distances. You're gonna need a lot of adaptation if you're going those longer than 50K distances. But for me, I can find myself doing 50K, trail marathons, plenty of grip, plenty of durability in this shoe. I think Solomon has created something really fun for a lot of people. Uh, I think a lot of people will get a kick out of this shoe. So in conclusion, the S-Lab Ultra 2 is certainly something that I'd be looking at uh, in comparison to something like the Sense Ride, if you're used to that shoe, or if you remember the old Sense Pros. I really would like it if they did away with some of this upper material, those lacing triangles, just simplified things a bit. Solomon's always been really good at simplifying, so I, I hope that they would do something like that in this shoe. But let's get a bit more specific. Let's talk about build quality. I've had no problems with this shoe being perfect in the durability departments and lasting through everything that I'm throwing at it. All sorts of conditions here uh, through the winter and spring in the Pacific Northwest. Um, the shoe's holding up really, really well with very few signs of wear. Comfort, it's about as comfortable as Solomon's get. Uh, you're not dealing with a lot of cushion. You're only dealing with more responsive materials, a bit of flexibility and protection across the board. If I had to choose a Solomon for shorter distances, I'm still grabbing the Sense Ride. If I'm going for longer distances, this would be my choice at this moment. Fit, true to size. I wear size 11, size 11, totally good. Price. So this is actually why I wanted to talk about this shoe right now. It's on sale for 135 bucks. That's still a pretty steep price point, but you're getting an S-Lab shoe from Solomon, which are always their top tier, more elite level of shoes. I mean, who really cares at that point? But for $135, you're getting nearly 50 bucks off the shoe. It's a decent price to get your foot into something that'll make you look fancy. And finally, looks. Uh, like I said, it'll make you look fancy. Uh, I actually really enjoy the black to red colorway. It's simple, it's very Solomon. They keep things dramatic and not too over the top. So uh, I do appreciate just bright red, black shoes. They always get my vote as far as looks are concerned. Which brings us to our last criteria. Is the S-Lab Ultra 2 a buy, try, or a why? In this case, I'm going to say it's a heavy try. I highly encourage you to put your foot into a Solomon shoe if you're not used to them. Uh, this is a good one to at least demo. Solomon's always tend to run a bit narrow. I didn't have problems with narrowness in this shoe. So for me, it's a good solid try. And at 135 bucks, it's definitely up there in my likes department. So that my friends is it for my review of the Solomon S-Lab Ultra 2. I'm actually really curious. Many of you have probably already run in the shoe. If you're fans of Solomon, you've already heard about it. You already demoed it. What do you think of the shoe? Let me know in the comments of this video. I am curious as is our community of what you think of the S-Lab Ultra 2. But that is it for today's review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like, favorite, subscribe to this channel, youtube.com slash the ginger runner. Got plenty of social media links there for you to enjoy. Please enjoy them. And if you like what I'm doing here on the channel, you want to see more films, you want to see more views, any of that sort of thing, make sure you subscribe at patreon.com slash the ginger runner for as little as a dollar a month. You support everything that goes on behind the scenes. You support every project that gets posted to the YouTube channel. You get deals on merch, you get coupons for gear, all sorts of great stuff. So consider it if you have not already. Now, that is it. I hope you're getting out there training hard, racing harder, and parting the hardest. I know I am. We'll see you guys next week. Okay, bye-bye.